Hey everybody, Big Rick here at the Comic Wow Studios. I'm gonna to talk to you about Namor, because this is your Fan 5 at 5. This is your Fan 5 at 5. My fave. Welcome to Fan 5 at 5. Hey, and this is your Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what's the show called? Damn it. Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. Fan 5 at 5. Fan five at five. First off, Namor first appeared in Motion Pictures Funnies Weekly in 1939. That was like a mail-in or a uh, drop-off that was given to like movie theaters, but he made his first public appearance in a really cool comic called Marvel Comics Number 1 in the Golden Age. That's his first public appearance. Oh, Atlantis is the prince of the deep. And then he came back, he had multiple appearances in the Golden Age, but then he had another public appearance in the Silver Age in Fantastic Four Number 4, where he is a nemesis to the Fantastic Four, stealing Sue Storm. Kind of strange, but he has a thing for blondes. Namor. Namor is a mutant son of a human sea captain and an Atlantean princess, thus making him one of Marvel's first mutants. Maybe not chronologically, but in order of appearance in the comic books, he is absolutely the first mutant to appear. So as a mutant or a hybrid, he has certain abilities. He has super strength, and the ability to swim, he has these really great aquatic abilities that he gets from his Atlantean side, but from his human side, where he's kind of getting that mutant hybrid gene mixed in there, he also can fly. Namor, besides being the first mutant in comics, he's also the first anti-hero. When he first appears, he is portrayed as a bad guy, but as you read his storyline, you find out that he actually had some justice issues based on how we as humans were treating the seas. I shall deal with the humans in my own way, in my own time. So was he wrong or was he just trying to protect his people? And then later on, as he's written in other stories, you find out that he actually is a hero, but has a really bad attitude sometimes, thus making him the perfect beginning to the anti-hero mold, which we later will see in The Punisher and Venom. Thank you, your puny weapons can frighten me. Number five, he likes blondes. It's a fact. In almost every storyline that he's in, when the women come schmoozing or he starts smoozing on the ladies, he picks a blonde from Sue Storm to the White Queen Emma Frost. And there's your fan five at five. I'm Big Rick. We featured Namor this time, so if you like that, you want to learn more about that amazing character, go to your local comic book shop now. So there you have it. You just watched another great video, or at least I thought it was great. And if you did, make sure you comment below what you thought was great about it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget, we're on all other social media platforms. So if you look up Comic Wow, you're gonna find us.